While everyone else on the internet is busy arguing which is better value for money between the X4860K and the G3258 Pentium, I'm here to present to you guys some CPUs that'll beat both those little bad boys in price and performance. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tech Yes City. This is my used CPU guide for 2016 where I'm gonna give you guys the recommendations on some of the best value for money CPUs that are out there for both gaming and workstation purposes. So without further ado, let's get on with the list. Five. Coming in at number five is the i3-550. You can currently get this CPU for around about $10 on eBay. It's an absolute beast for that price. It comes clocked in at 3.2 gigahertz. It also has four threads and it supports the LGA 1156 motherboard socket. So a lot of these boards can be had for very cheap. The non-overclockable ones, even if you get them, that's pretty good since the 3.2 gigahertz clock speed is good enough for most titles at 1080p. Four. Coming in at number four is the X5450, which is actually an LGA 771 CPU. Now you can get this CPU for around about $20, though if you get it, you will have to get a little pad, which costs an extra dollar off eBay, and then you will have to cut some things on your motherboard. Though with that said, it is a fantastic value for money CPU, and it is overclockable, and it does have four true cores on there. Three. Coming in at number three is the X5650. Now this was making rounds on the internet for being an extremely good value for money CPU and it still is. It's a six core, 12 threaded, 32 nanometer beast which can be had for around about $85. Now the caveat to this CPU is that the motherboards that support it are generally pretty expensive. Though if you do manage to pick up a bargain on an X58 motherboard and you do manage to get the CPU then you can overclock it to around four gigahertz and you can get both great performance in workstation purposes and gaming as well. Two. Coming in at number two is my personal favorite. This is the E5640 Xeon 32 nanometer, four core, eight threaded CPU. Now the good thing about this is it's only $15 and it actually doesn't have an i7 variant, though it will work on consumer X58 motherboards. And the same caveat as the X5650 is that it will need an expensive, generally quite expensive motherboard. Though that being said, one benefit of this CPU is that it does have two less cores, four less threads, and it's easier to overclock on that X58 board as opposed to the X5650, which generally needs a top of the line board to get really high overclocks. One. Now topping the list today is the E2670. This is the Xeon Sandy Bridge chip that turbos up to 3.3 gigahertz. Now this CPU comes in at $70 at the moment. That's what you can get these for. And it has eight cores, 16 threads. That's right, $70 for eight cores, 16 threads. You just cannot beat the price performance this thing brings to the table. Now, one thing about this CPU is that it will need an expensive or generally an expensive X78 motherboard to work. Though me personally, I've ordered two of these things and I've also ordered an ASRock server board, which I'm gonna be doing a project for you guys in the near future. Though at $70, this thing easily tops out. Just be sure that you get the retail samples of these and not the engineering samples, as the engineering samples will only be able to top out at two 2.6 gigahertz, which if you generally want to be gaming and doing workstation kind of things, you will want that extra CPU single threaded speed to go up to 3.3 gigahertz, which the retail samples do. Anyway, that's it from me today, guys. If you have any questions or comments about these CPUs, then be sure to drop a comment in the comment section below and be sure to plug that thumbs up button and I'll be coming back to you guys with another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.